Rather than Republicans being smart and plain to win, you saw Matt Gates grandstanding there, Republicans will launch an impeachment inquiry that will go nowhere. It will unite Democrats around Mr. Biden. Democrats right now, 60 plus percent, say they don't think that Joe Biden should run for another term. They question that. But no, Republicans are now uniting Democrats around Joe Biden. Of course, this impeachment inquiry will divide Republicans and make them look small and petty, as Ken Buck laid out. It gives the media endless opportunity to pit Republicans against each other. That's already started. So once again, here is Forrest. Stupid is stupid does, Ms. Blue. I guess. Just a couple of weeks ago, McCarthy appeared sane when he stood in opposition to the crazies in his party. He wouldn't go down the same path Nancy Pelosi did when she launched Trump's impeachment. You saw Republicans talk about that. Yet here we are. And Republicans have yet to learn the lesson that the media will give Democrats a pass for such mistakes, and they will pummel Republicans into the ground for the very same thing. Kurt Bardella is here, Democratic strategist, L.A. Times contributor, and former House GOP Oversight Committee advisor. Kurt, am I right to point out, since you have seen this from both sides of the aisle, the double standard in how this is handled? Yeah, there absolutely is. There's no doubt about it, which is why, as we know that, it's kind of mind-numbing that Republicans would just so openly walk into this trap and put themselves in this position. Like what happens next and how the media covers this isn't gonna be a surprise or a shock to either one of us. And yet here's Speaker McCarthy, you know, bowing to the will of a few crazy people in this conference to drag his entire caucus and the entire Republican party into this charade. And it's just gonna backfire tremendously. And it's like you said in your opening, because it was 100% right. At a time when you could make the case credibly that the president is at his weakest, where his poll numbers are, are, are under 40%, where there's legitimate consternation and discussion about his fitness and his age, when there's no enthusiasm from the Democratic Party base, why on earth would you throw him a lifeline like impeachment that will necessitate that the entire party apparatus rally around Joe Biden? Why would you do that? Now, I, I, it is befuddling to me, Republicans I talk to, and look, uh, there's some who stand behind this and say, look, we got to do this. But the, the, the vast majority of them privately are just shaking their heads and want nothing to do with this. The only thing I can think of, and look, you got to give Kevin McCarthy his due in terms of how he has at least so far held Republicans together. And to be fair, um, when it came to the debt ceiling, he pulled truly a rabbit out of his hat and put Joe Biden in a very uncomfortable position. I'm almost wondering whether he's doing this intentionally, right? You force Republicans to have this impeachment inquiry. It fails uh, on a vote when it's brought before the House floor, and then he turns it around and says, hey, hey, to the, the crazies, to the Matt Gates and the instigators of this, look, you, your beef isn't with me, your beef's with the other moderate Republicans who voted against this. Now we all have to move on. I think that's a dangerous gambit if that's really what Kevin's doing, because you're going to have this unfold, mind you, at the same time that there are negotiations and deliberations about the budget, that we're facing a possible government shutdown if they can't get anything done there. And can you imagine the political fallout of doing this impeachment that nobody in America really wants while also dealing with a government shutdown where the same crazies that compelled him into impeachment will be holding the federal government hostage? That's not a good combination to happen at the same time. Yeah, rule. Rule number one in Washington, it uh, doesn't matter whether Republicans are in Congress or in the White House, Republicans always lose a government shutdown. Just sort of is like, you know, an, <laughs> in, an, a, a truth uh, about, about Washington. Kurt, I, I want to be fair to Kevin McCarthy and to House Republicans who are calling for this impeachment inquiry. And, and we said at the top, we're not going to deal with sort of the, the, the facts at hand about what Joe Biden did or didn't do. But by launching an impeachment inquiry, do they get greater powers of subpoena and investigation than the House Oversight Committee currently has looking into this? Yeah, because the they're not limited by whatever the congressional like Judiciary Committee or Oversight rules are. And there are very specific rules that are written for each committee of what boundaries they can really go into. And one of the things that's about congressional committees is there has to be a, quote, legislative purpose to justify whatever information they're after. Well, when you have an impeachment inquiry, uh, um, that is the legislative person. That becomes a function of Congress, an act of Congress. And so you can 
subpoena things and, and try to get witnesses and, and, and literally put on a trial. Uh, I just think that, again, it, 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 it's, it's, it's dicey. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.